Hey everyone, it's Mark, and today we're taking a look at a sovereign citizen who uses the right to travel argument during a traffic stop. Let's roll the video! Joe, see you have Joe. Why don't you have a seatbelt on back there? Just forget to put it on. I don't know, it's Tom now. I'm wearing my seatbelt. You didn't have it on a while ago. I was in the median when you came by, and you didn't have it mm -hmm. on. Alright. You got your glasses on you? I mean, I do, but I'm not technically driving, you know. I'm traveling, and uh, I don't think wearing a, not wearing a seatbelt is a crime. It's an infraction. Well, that's kind of like for commercial drivers. No, you know? it's not. You have yeah. to wear your seatbelt. I'm just a man traveling. Okay. Don't go nowhere. All right. Go back. I wonder what he's going to say. He's probably bringing me a ticket. Fucking stupid printout fucking tickets. Oh, yeah. Because he knows my name through the plates. So. Oh, it comes back. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done this shit. Fucked with him. <laughs> Bragging about how this is the first time you've tried this right to travel nonsense isn't really something to be bragging about. In all my years of watching Sovereign Citizen videos, these arguments have never worked. So if you ask you to sign it, you're going to sign it with it? Yeah, I'll reserve my rights. But that's the thing about North Carolina, they give you those printouts where you don't sign it, they're just like here. And it's not even a contract. Try how much was that shit? Like 150 fucking dollars? 180 fucking dollars. Fuck that shit. Sir? Yes, sir. You can be placed under arrest for failing to produce your ID. Alright? That's not a law either. It is. No, that's not a law. If I, I only have to produce ID if I'm committing a crime. I haven't yeah, committed a crime. I'm just, stop. I'm not harming it. I'm not harming anyone. I'm just belt. traveling. I'm not harming anyone. And you're trying okay. to charge me $180. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to my car. No. I mean, I'll take the ticket. If you want to give me the ticket. Produce your ID. Okay. I mean, I'm not consenting to driving. I'm just saying. But I'll give you my ID just so I ain't I trying that. to be threatened with arrest when I've committed no crime. Funny how he's willing to comply and hand over his ID under threat of arrest, but still claim he isn't driving. If you really believed in what you were saying, you wouldn't comply with the officer. I've done nothing wrong. I don't know if you've ever heard the United States Constitution, but that's there to stop okay. people from being harassed, you know? I appreciate your cooperation. I'll be right back. Okay. And, excuse me, sir, if you give me a ticket, I would like to be able to have two copies. I would two like copies. to sign it. Sign it? Yeah, we if I'm going to contract with you, then... We don't sign copies. Well, then I don't want to contract with you, then. I'll grab it. A few minutes later... All this over a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. Which is my word against his, because he has no proof that I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. If you believe that, then take the ticket and fight it in court. Stop trying to fight it on the side of the road. All of this, all this wasted time and money over a seatbelt. This is ridiculous, man. Three cop cars now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three of them. Over just me because I'm like, dude, I'm not driving. I mean, who cares about my, dude, we're gonna charge me because I'm not protecting myself? Please. This is ridiculous. Alright, Mr. Cannot, there's a citation for the seatbelt. There's a court date up there. It's not mandatory. So, so why, can why can't I building. sign? Why do you just hand someone a contract that they don't sign? It's not a contract. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a contract. If I take that from you, I'm contracting you. Sir, you have to take I'd, the citation. I would rather not contract with you. You have to take the citation. You know, you're, it would what save want, us a what lot you wanna, of time. What you want to do with it after? We could, would you get finished with this stop? It's up to you, but you have to take this citation in your possession. It assures me that you know your court date up here. What's the law that says I have to take that? You have to take the citation. Why do I have summer? to? I, I haven't committed any crimes. You do understand you that driving is a commercial term, right? You know, driving is a commercial term. So, you know? If you take your citation, you license, you can go on your way. Alright. Oh, you have a safe day. Sir. Oh, hey, uh. What's your badge number and... 
sir. Fucking asshole. Hundred and eighty dollars. Hundred and eighty fucking dollars. What's the court date? Probably fucking two months from now. Fucking asshole. Trooper D. Lucido. Number sixteen oh five. Tyrant ass motherfucker. Another example of someone who doesn't know what a real tyrant is. You're just mad because for some reason you think you're above the law even though you're not. Like I said earlier, if you disagree with the ticket, you can always fight it in court. As always, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my channel members for your support. I really appreciate all of your support. And all of you are awesome. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.